to the channel. Today, I'll be installing in the Mercedes Sprinter some interior lighting. This lighting has been provided by Nylight and these are the two-piece 60-inch RGB truck bed light strip kit with 180 LEDs, uh, RF remote control, off-on switch, two-way splitter, extension cable for cargo, pickup truck, SUV, RV, or boat. And they come with a two-year warranty and they're available on Amazon. The link is in the description if you want to order some of these for yourself. Now, in the Mercedes Sprinter, I have the 44, sorry, the 144 inch wheelbase. And from the back of the driver's seat to the back of the van is 10, 10 feet. And these two put together make up that 10 feet at 60 uh, inches each. So if I unroll them, they come with this, uh, this um, adhesive uh, at the back once you peel off the sticker. I can stick this on the, on the back of the wall. I'll link up two of them. I'll figure out how to do that once I do the install. And then I'll wire it, wire it up to the auxiliary battery with the 12, 12 volt input controller. Once it's wired up, I'll be able to change the interior of the Mercedes Sprinter with a, with a remote control. I'll be able to change it from red, green, blue, white, orange, yellow, cayenne, purple. I could do a jump, some jump, uh, jump lighting, some fade colors. It could go to the beat of the music and uh, I can turn it off and on from anywhere inside the van. So this is it. This is everything that it comes with, all the hardware, the wiring, and Let's get this installed in the in the Mercedes Sprinter and see how this looks. All right, so let's get to working inside the Sprinter. Basically, what I'm going to be using is some zip ties, electrical tape, and some wire cutters. And we got both light strips here. We got the wiring. We got the the 12 volt controller and the remote control. So. This is the headliner here. I already have the front headliner removed um, from the previous video where I was uh, installing the 54 inch LED light bar. Uh, you can check that video out on how to remove the headliner. I'll put a link in the description um, as well as this uh, as well as this pillar here. And then we're gonna remove the the driver's seat. Uh, that's also in that previous video um, and so we can access the auxiliary battery and the way we're gonna wire this up is right above here at the edge of the headliner is where I'm gonna want the LEDs to line up right along the headliner all the way down to the back I got some velcro here that I, that I stuck on right at the right at the bottom of the headliner all the way to the back and on the other side of the velcro there's a there's um, some ad adhesive which is going to make this adhesive stick together much better um, and then i could just i could just get the velcro and stick it onto here and run it along from there i'm going to wire the controller into the auxiliary battery to get our 12 volt power. Okay, so to remove the seat, we got one, two, three, and another one in the other quarter, four bolts, and we can remove the seat. Just slide it out of the way. And now we have access to the auxiliary battery. So there is a positive and down there, there's a negative terminal. Right where that yellow terminal is, there's a nut there. And that's the negative. And this is the positive of the auxiliary battery. We're gonna run the power wire underneath from the negative and positive underneath the back of the seat. There's a hole in the back and I ran a black two-wire 
the positive and negative up to where the seat belt is. With the black two wire that I ran up from the auxiliary battery, I have my negative. I just put a, a black piece of tape there so I know that's the negative. And I have this as the positive. Now from the, the controller, you have the, the red and black negative and positive. I'm gonna connect them together. I'm gonna seal that up and just to test it, I'll I'll get the the leads from the controller and I'll plug it in to one of the one of the light LED strips. And we got it on. Test it out a bit. Okay, so for the first light strip, I'm gonna take the, the other side of the Velcro that I stuck along along the edge of the headliner. I'm gonna take the other piece of Velcro. I'm gonna stick it over here. And this is with the adhesive side of the Velcro. So this is the Velcro there with the adhesive side. And I put it on Velcro just so that if I need to service anything in the roof headliner, I gotta maybe run some other wires for maybe some cameras I'm thinking about. I can remove it, just pull it off the Velcro. So, take the first wiring strip, I'll remove the, the red backing of the adhesive, and I'll stick that right onto the Velcro. Just like that, we got it velcroed onto the edge of the headliner. Now if I needed to remove it, I could just pull and it will come off with the velcro. Now for the other side of the LED strip, I'll do the same. So I'm basically taking the wire, pulling it all the, all the way across. It comes almost to the edge of the other one. But from the 12 volt controller, I'll take the wire, I'll, I'll run it in behind here, the second panel of the headliner and, and connect it. So I'm just gonna go right behind this. Use my pry tool to stick it in. Now to get behind that wire, I can remove it. Remove the first line because I have it on the Velcro. So as I get to the edge here, I'm gonna take from the 12 volt controller, I'm gonna plug this in and I'm gonna tuck this behind here. Okay, so that wire is behind there. With the black two wire that I ran up from the auxiliary battery, I have my negative I just put a, a black piece of tape there so I know that's the negative, and I have this as the positive. Now from the, the controller, you have the, the red and black negative and positive. So with the controller, I'm gonna take the negative and positive, and I'm gonna connect them together.
I'll just make the connection from the the 12 volt controller and connect the other the other lead. So now we got power to both lights. Turn it off and on. So now I can install the headliner back on. I can um, install the beat pillar back on. And I'm gonna tuck all this behind it, except for this little off on switch that comes with it. That way I can, uh, with it on, I could either turn it off and on from here or with the controller. Okay, so I basically got all the wires nicely t tucked away. And this will be inside uh, inside the B pillar. And the button, I'll find out. I'll leave it hanging out and I'll, I'll see where I'm gonna place it once I get the B pillar in there. But everything is zip tied up, going down into the bottom of the base of the driver's seat. Okay, we got the lights all installed. Let's take a look. So, I didn't, we didn't have to use this uh, this cable to connect the two since we did them in a straight line. And that other button, the off on switch, I put it right here, which is really convenient. And I can turn it off and on right from the driver's seat or with the, with the remote control, I put some Velcro on the back as well as the button and this could live right here or I put a piece of velcro over here so it could stay right here also and you can just pull it off and change the colors blue green red orange yellow it's cayenne purple let's see if it works from out here yeah. Try it from out here. Okay, so his lights are looking pretty good. And again, the link is in the, the the link is in the description if you want to order any of these. Okay, it's now nighttime, so let's get in here and see how it is at night. Turn this light off. So we have these bright modes um, where you can turn the brightness down. Just as you get to the lowest setting, it will flicker like that. You can change it, different colors. This is the white, the white light. Most of these LEDs, have like a yellow light they give off, but this is actually more of a true white light, which is which is really good. And we have the different modes here. We got fade. really see the range of this remote control. The 
has a lot of range. I'm about, I'm about, I'd say, 25, 30 feet. And we're still able to change the colors.